pieces to Jesus. Let them see it. Open their eyes, oh God. Let them see what happens when they dare to use their faith to make a vow of faith to you. You said you'd, they could decree a thing. And I've got two Bibles. I mean, they're heavy. And I'm sitting here. I don't come on the air with one Bible or no Bibles. I come on the air with two Bibles. You know, it, 2020. It looks like I'm going to die. Come, watch. You can step into Jesus. And Jonas made his bow. Now listen to this. There it is. And see if I will not rebuke the devourer. Oh, I feel this. Al, I want to lay it right here. Just whoever it is, just bring the vow. And we'll lay it right on it. We've got just a few moments before we go off the air. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Psalm 76 says in Psalms 50, In the day of adversity, I will hear thy prayer, and I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me through thy deliverance, saith the Lord. Vow and pay. Get off this program. You just, there's a person watching. You, you get upset even if you miss it. It's not because of me. It's because that word, that uplifting word of faith. I want you to go to your phone. I want you to get up and do something different today. Here's some right here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Here's the prayer request. Praise God. Okay. Father. Here's another thousand. That's three. Here's another 500. Praise God. Here's another thousand. Here's another five. Glory to God. Here's another 500. Blessings will begin to come up. Okay. Here's to prayer. And I can't open up the windows of heaven unto you, saith the Lord. Boy, hallelujah. How, just as I said that. God will honor his word. Norman did what God said. When he did, God did what he said. Oh. Believe. A moment. Going into my chapel. Thank you, Jesus. See? With prophecy mixed in there. Thank you, Lord. Oh. See, it's the anointing or the presence of God that breaks the powers of darkness off of you. Ma'asanta. Thank you, Lord. And I want you to jump up and down three times. Say, why don't I do it? We're going to jump for joy. We're going to jump for Jesus. We're going to thank the Lord what he just did for you. Three times. Are you ready? One, two, three. Now raise your hands up and say, thank you, Jesus. Say, thank you, Jesus. Now start bending over, walking around, doing what you couldn't do. Just walking around, just walking around, just doing what you couldn't do. Just praising God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. I will magnify the Lord. Mandarada basoto. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let the healing power of God flow. Chew it. Eat it. He's going to come on the scene and bring the presence of God. We'll come into your life. Listen to this. And it became the seed to hang on earth in her life. She just didn't sit there. And then we have Leecha and Mike. Release a well of creativity to begin. I like to chop the devil up, don't you? It's a sword of the spirit. Oh, when famine. To preach and speak faith. So don't kick against what God's endeavoring to do to bless you and to help your church. Hallelujah. Now, man robbed God? And they say, well, how, how have we robbed you? He said, with your tithes and offerings, you've, you've withheld that which belongs to God, withheld. Someone what just then has been withholding. I'm telling you, I learned how to let go oh. of the old and no longer trust in myself. I learned how to trust in God. Oh. Hallelujah. I used to drink wine. I used to drink lots of alcohol and do lots of drugs. But I'm telling you, oh. I am so filled with this stuff. And me being your preacher boy, your, your word of faith preacher, I want to prophesy. You know it says when Ezra began to prophesy, the Jews began to prosper. When the prophet begins to prophesy, people begin to prosper. I 
prophesy abundance into your life. I prophesy that seed to sow. Well, that's stupid. It, it, people that don't listen, the natural mind receives not the things of God. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither hath it entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for them in the last of Corinthians. But by my spirit, saith the Lord, I reveal them to you. A vow of faith. You don't conjure it up, make it up. It bubbles up. <laughs> That's where prophet talks about from that bubbling, from that inner, it just swells up like a river of living water for those that are thirsty. Notice how the devil always likes to take my worst facial expressions and put them on TV. Are you listening? Are you hearing? Are you hearing? And it will not stop, it will happen, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. And when we come on the air, he shoots the words out of my mouth, and they find target to bring deliverance and help to you. Flow into that bowling alley. Flow into that attorney's office. Flow into that accountant's office. Flow into that kitchen. Flow into that whole hospital room. Let your healing power flow. Flow in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Now, raise your hands. Say, God, I give up and surrender to you. Say it. God, I give up and surrender to you for Jesus to be the Lord of my life. Amen and amen. Isn't God good? Say it again. Jesus, you, I'm not someone that hints around about it. I know what I know. And I believe what I believe. Bless God, I believe what I believe. I'm not a fake and a phony. I believe what I believe. It comes from the Bible, and I got scriptures to back it up. So sort of the spirit. And I make a vow. Jacob made a vow. You know what God did? God gave him a dream, showed him how to get his fox multiplied, showed him how to multiply his business. That's what God will do. And there's an anointing. I that there is an anointing and power to get wealth. There, God has anointed. Father, thank you. I know you've sent me to several today, but there's one in particular. If they will hear this word and receive me as their prophet to speak the word of faith into their spirit. God, I know this, this anointing, this, this charging of their spiritual battery. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. There's a person, when I, say, when I said those words, see, I understand. Something that has been closed and held back is going to open up and it's going to be like this. And then here's another part of it. And it's going to be like the clouds are going to part and the sun is going to begin to shine. The sun of God's favor is going to shine. This is exciting. I want you to stay tuned until the Spirit of God rose up big enough inside of me to drive him off and push him back. Oh, there's a revelation. When you fight the devil and you win, I want you to call me. Ray and I were having lunch the other day. By acknowledging, this is great stuff that I get, prowling around my great, incredible library. I go, oh my gosh, that is so rich. Ruth, listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. I'm around a minister in music and get ready because I recognize some decree. You are the Lord of my life. Thank you. Lord. Now we're going to a, an incredible miracle. It's proof that Jesus is not dead, that he, he, he defeated man's number one enemy. Muhammad didn't defeat, defeat death. Buddha didn't defeat death. Confucius didn't defeat death. More life growing up out of you in these last days, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. I think that prophecy has been built, that prophetic utterance has been building up in me for some time. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just take a moment. Maybe it's something has shut down that you were doing. This is a word. Something has just shut down that something. God is shutting one door. He's about a multitude of people. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank I'm so blessed to preach the gospel to the poor because they are rich in faith.